What's up? So we're continuing the last video into tonight. We are putting the new tie rods, control arms, and putting the steering rack back in. Now Joe is working on measuring the tie rods that I got from 1A Auto. So basically you're gonna wanna make sure that the tie rods that came out of your car and the tie rods that you now have are very similar um, in the length that they are so that your alignment should be hopefully decent, but you should definitely get alignment after you do anything like this because your stuff's gonna be all messed up. But we got the steering rack back. Thanks to JD, it's all clean. And um, these were actually extracted out, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. And the pressure lines fit in here, so that's definitely good. So we should have power steering in the next, hopefully, week or two. A little bit of grease here and on here in the end. Um, once this is all set, we're just going to take these old tie rods apart and slap the boots on so that we know everything's good to go. And then um, we'll throw that stuff together. And Joe's working on that now, so we'll be moving on to this very shortly. All right, so um, now that the control arms are in and everything is basically tightened up on there, we're going to move on to the steering rack. So as you can see, we get the tie rods all put together. Put a little bit of um, blue Loctite on here just so they don't back out. And then I'm just going to install it back on here. So I'm actually going to put the rack in first, tighten the rack down with the clamps, and then put my tie rods in so I can make sure they're nice and tight. Now, I did have to recenter my rack, so basically what I did is um, check how many times you can spin it and how far each side comes out. Then what I did is set it to the middle by measuring exactly from here to in there on both sides, and then made a little mark like right there and then on the gear itself so I know like if it spins, I can just spin it back to where it was supposed to be. Putting the steering rack back in is actually really easy. You just kind of shove it back in there. Uh, put the two clamps on. I think it's like four bolts and that's it. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Then I got to get the boots around here too, which kind of sucks, but we'll take care of that in a minute. I also made sure that my hard lines for my power steering all fit still in the rack because I was worried that the threads would have got ripped out. Um, but luckily that isn't the case. So we can hopefully have power steering since this would be fucking sick. Hey, so continuing with the uh, power steering install on the SR. You are going to need these bolts if you don't have any. They are in here. I'll tell you what they are in a sec. Get yourself some of these M10 by 150 by 50. Uh, these are what is going to attach your bracket to your block. Also, we got the whole suspension put back together. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory where everything goes. So... That is all set. All right, well, let's see if I can show you guys what this looks like. It's kind of hard to see, but there's these one, two, and three bolts that go into the block from the bracket. Um, so you gotta use those hardware bolts that you get from the hardware store, if, unless you already have them and you wanna put those in. So this right here is actually, from what I can tell, an S14 KA pump. This should work just fine. Keep in mind that if you're using, according to uh, Zilvia, if you're using a S13 high pressure hose. This puts out a little bit more pressure than per se the S13 one does over there. You could potentially pop the line. Uh, this is the hose I'm talking about, this one. I don't know if it's from an S13 or 14, so I'm just gonna kinda gamble with it. Hopefully I don't blow it up. If I do, I'll have to buy a new one. So I guess we'll find out. Um, so basically in order to actually achieve putting a KA pump on an SR, you're gonna need a couple things. Uh, if you have a K8 pump and you don't have SR parts like I do, um, luckily that's an SR pump, you're going to need to take the pulleys off. Now, this is an SR pulley. This is a K8 pulley. But from what I read, all you have to do is actually take the pulley and just flip it and then stick it back on. I did that by sticking this in the vise so that the pump can't rotate. And then I just hit it with an impact gun and then got that off. So that's all set. Of course, you know, you need the lines and all that stuff. So there's two lines total. This, is act, this acts like a cooler even though it's really not but I mean it just kind of moves the fluid and disperses it but um I would recommend running that don't bypass that unless you have an actual external cooler okay so a little bit of an update luckily I actually had some um leftover hardware for something I did before um so I was able to mount my power steering reservoir so that was really nice and simple so taking a look there's a bolt here and then two one two I gotta do for some reason this um master cylinder slash you know brake fluid reservoir protector heat 
shield, whatever you want to call it, doesn't line up with this anymore. So I'm gonna have to drill a new hole, make that fit again, but that's not a big deal. I don't know if you can actually see it, but down there, those two bolts that got extracted, I'm just keeping them in for now. Um, I gotta jack the front up, get under it, and then throw the lines in and then route them, but that should not be too hard. Once I do that, I mean, I really just gotta mount the pump and hopefully everything just lines up. I just need a tensioner and then I could put this back together. Yeah, so hopefully I should have power steering real soon and I hope that the pump works, so we will find out. Till then. All right, well, I got one of the lines in, uh, right there. Kind of snaked it through. Um, basically, this it mounts down here on the, the tension arm, so I'm gonna get some bolts for that. And I gotta run the other one, um, so I'll show you guys what that looks like when I'm done. But everything's coming together good so far, so hopefully we will have this in this week.